did he challenge that horrible man? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... <laughs> when my husband... <laughs> do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um... <laughs> He has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. <laughs> My husband. What will I do? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned.
Achi! Achi Bikal! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio made the hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Cross paths with that wolf. Rebellion. We should look around. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Professor Howell will never believe this.
Revelio. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must listen. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Look out! Revelio! I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. You don't think he saw it happen? The Just the you <laughs>
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. Confringo, your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Revelio. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Friends, darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Pickle. 
Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me. I know something. Thank you for your help today. Revelio. Let me also.
an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlin's, I haven't done mine either. Oh. Rebellio. Rebellion. Lumos. <laughs> Rebellion. Lumos.
Revelio. Do not look so rich, Kettle. No quest without challenge. Worth completing. Sirs and gents, Revelio. They better be careful up there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be... Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Alohomora. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? 
I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honour her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. We're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favourite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Lumos. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. The journal entry. to a gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. Repairer, you knew? And didn't tell me. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts.
Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Lumos. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely Revelio. is to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at... Confringo! Revelio. The dial requires focus. Ah, uh, Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <coughs> Lumos. Nice work. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Every dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Confringo! Ominous. Your arm. family's traditions. She did. Rebellion! She's my favorite person in the world for her. Lumos. Symbols differ for every dial. Seems the dial moves faster than before. Perhaps check your matching the correct symbols.
The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for Lumos. Revelio. The brazier. When the door closed, it lit up. Lumos. This job. It mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Revelio. Lumos. Confirm. Lumos. Dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Revelio. The symbols on another gate will match this dial. Another gate? Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. Confringo! Another. Not the welcoming sort, was he? Be careful, won't you? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Huh? Revelio! Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Not your right. Painful and 
arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt, but I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucios etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this.
Ready? I'm ready. Are you all right? That pain, it was excruciating. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. Revelio. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. <sighs> I can't... Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Rebellion. What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. Revelio. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. Rebellion. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose I'll... I 
am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
I'd like to talk with you when you have a moment. Look after you. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm.
Everything's all right now. Thank <laughs> you. 